Jason Bolin and the Stragglers recently collaborated with Shooter Jennings. In fact, he produced the band's next album, Dark and Dirty Mile. We caught up with Shooter on his tour bus for this week's backstage conversation. And there's a million you outlaw you was um i was kind of sitting around and absorbing what was going on in modern country music and it just kind of got to me at one point i wrote the song it was definitely recorded six months after we we kind of delved into what was family man and, and the other life the other record you know i like that song outlaw you a lot and I, and I appreciate that a lot of people like it and i still stand behind it. i mean you know I, I'm, I'm proud of the song but you know, it brings a lot of controversy to the record, too, in ways, and I don't know if I wanted to, like, mar what the records were with that either. So it's kind of, it's a very polarizing kind of tune, so. So I stay up late at night, try to hawk a room with my guitar, and sing my poor meats at another lonesome bar, unrehearsed, down. So after doing Black Ribbons, Black Ribbons for me was a long process. It took uh, basically two years to get out and it was a record where I felt that I'd kind of stepped out of what my dad's whole realm of things was and done something that was really important to me. Still that, to this day, that record is, will always be really important to me, I think. Um, but uh, with Family Man, I really wanted the next step to be something that was really pure and songwriter based and, and I, I'd been listening to a lot of Steve Young, John Prine, and um, Harry Nilsson kind of were the, the people I, I was really absorbing at the time. I, I just really wanted this, to write the songs, to, to do the record, do all those things just kind of on my own. And, and so if we went into the Magic Shop in Soho and recorded Family Man, you know. And really, it's two records. We have a second one, it's called The Other Life, because we cut a lot of songs during those sessions and kind of took what felt like it should be Family Man, put that together, so. But I'm really proud of it. I'm really proud of the country sound we got <laughs> cutting in New York, you know. Uh, a pretty wild thing, man, but it all came together like really magical. Coming up next is a road story from Pat Green, one of the few that he could tell, and a performance from Dallas-based 1100 Springs, so stay with us. 